Now, we call this thing the Stig, OK? We don't know its name. We really don't know its name. Uh, no one knows its name, and we don't want to know, because it's a racing driver, and racing drivers have tiny little brains and, therefore, worthless opinions, and they're very dull. Doctors actually call it Mansell syndrome. Um, <laughs> its job is simply to go out there and drive fast. So, first of all, we put it in the Lamborghini. Immense power. We've already discovered you've got four-wheel drive. You have to trickle it off the line, then nail it. Right, coming over that little light lift now. He's coming through Wilson Bend. Let's see. Does it step out of line? He's into third. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Massive, massive oversteer. Right. And through the hammerhead, no understeer at all. Incredible. Big oversteer. He's trying not to hit those tyres on the left. And he's through! So how's it handle Carpenter's corner? This is where you really want to nail it. Oh, look at that! Every power car that goes around our test track is going to set a lap time. We're going to put those lap times up here on our power lap time board. So and the Lamborghini number, was? 1 minute 29, which is extremely good, so I'm going to put that up here. Right, here we are at one of those Calais hypermarket cash and carry booze warehouse jobs, and boy, have I got the car for the job. Let me show you what I mean. We've got storage space up here, up here, and here above the driver. In the back, there are two extra glove boxes. And then, if we slide that open, we've got a cubby hole here under the floor and another one there. Then we simply fold the seats down like so. And we have a cavernous boot. And I haven't finished yet, because if we open the tailgate, there's another overhead locker here for a further 10 kilograms of booze. So, let's shop. I want um, that one, that case there. It's all terribly exciting, all this cheap booze. But you have to be careful, because if customs suspect you're bringing stuff back that's not for your own personal consumption, they'll confiscate it and your car. And they're currently confiscating 30 cars a day. So I caught up with the shop's owner and his girlfriend to talk about this. Because so, the, I was reading in the paper that if I were to put 500 bottles of gin in the car, which I'm legally allowed to do... Absolutely. Customs are saying, well, you'd never get through all that. How, how, how can they say that when it was Maggie Thatcher told us to stock our larders up? I mean... With 500 bottles of gin? Yeah, but if you, if you drink a bottle of gin a day, that, that's only a year and a half supply. That's not a lot. You're here to try your hand in our Suzuki Liana. Oh, don't. Now, you've been watching the show, yeah? Yeah. You've seen all these people have a go. This is the yeah. sort of ball... Obviously, Harry Enfield, not in the ballpark at all. He's way off the bottom there. <laughs> But everyone else is sort of in this. Was it wet or dry when you went out? Very wet. Very wet. Yeah. Again, another yes. wet lap. Shall we see what happened? No, don't. Yeah. No, I'm afraid we're going to. Let's run the tape. <laughs> now, this is quite good. Oh, oh, God. That's like you had to look at the gear lever yes, to change there, which is kind of like reading, moving your lips, yeah. which I suppose is what you do yeah. for a living, really. As you do, you just, I have to say, is this acting or are you No, really... I'm not, I didn't even know there was a camera there. <laughs> you do look quite scared. <laughs> tires! Oh! <laughs> you were very close to the tires I there. You're supposed to be. Yeah, no, well, it was beautifully. Actually, you're off the. <laughs> you hit. Now, you said to me before we went out, you said, can you roll it? And I said, no, no, no. <laughs> no, I didn't mean that. I thought, would it roll? Well, yes, plainly <laughs> on the evidence. Let's put the stick in the Zonda, see what happens. Coming into the first corner here, how's it looking through there? Oh, it's looking a bit, uh, a bit wobbly, but oh, is he on still on the track? Yes, he is. Now he's got to get it right the way back across the other side to get it. This is the hard one. This is what. Yes, look at that. He's really having to fight that car. Even 
I found it difficult through there. <laughs> now he's coming up really, really hard and fast. He's hard on the brakes here, 110 metres. That's 150 miles an hour all the way down into second gear. He's actually going to have to use first in this car. How much is the understeer through the hammerhead corner? God, he's actually nice. He's got some oversteer there. Good Stig. Well done, Stig. It really is quite a driver, this one. Right, follow through. Let's listen. No, did a dab on the brakes there. He's gone through the follow through without following through. Fighting, God, he's fighting the wheel up through there. A little bit of a break there, we can see. On the power. Oh, that really is wet out there for this one. No, it's a dry bit here or something. It's still wet. Look, a bit damp. Brake hard. And he's into Baccarat Bend. Braking again now for Carpenter's Corner. Oh, you're in tail slide, but he's still kept the power on and he's done. Should apologise for the easy listening soundtrack going on there. It's the Stig. It likes to listen to the sounds of the lounge as it goes round. We've no idea why. Perhaps it calms it down. Anyway. Grim, but no need to apologise for that time. One minute 23, that's what? Six seconds off the Lambo's time. That's incredible. It, it, the incredible thing is, it must have made it up in the straights all that time. Because I know I drove both cars. The Lambo's faster through the corners. That's where it has the power. One minute 23. I honestly can't see that being beaten. Throughout the entire series, I think we've peaked. Neither can I. Is it possible for a car to go fast enough to beat a speed camera? So far, all we've proven is it's really, really difficult. We had a racetrack, the Stig to drive the car. Really fast cars haven't done it. We're going to have one last go. So far, yes, I agree, we've failed. But we haven't disproven the theory, just that we need a quicker car. Something like this, a TBR Tuscan S. Remember, this would be a crazy thing to do if we weren't using a professional racing driver on our own test track. It never went off. It was going so fast, over 170 miles an hour, the camera never saw it. Seriously? So, absolutely. So we've proven it is a mugs game. You need two miles of track. You need a car that will do over 170 miles an hour. But in the name of science, we did it. <laughs> now we're going to find out how good you are, or bad, on a track. We've got the tape. OK. You want to see it? Might as well. Run it. Okay, I like this third gear business. I like this third gear business. Right, I must get this right. I must learn to drive properly. And it's a slight turn in there, and it's there. It's there. That's better. That's better. That's better. That's better. That's there all the way. It's the one. Ooh. Don't be punished. Don't be tempted to put too much power on. That's beautiful. I'm going to get this down even further. Get it out of reach of Clarkson and his henchmen. This is the one. This is the punisher. 76, 80, 80, 80, 82. Bang it in there. And flat we go. Flat and third. Come and on. third? Yeah, but right the way fourth gear corner. Yeah, but then you, you never keep the revs up. No. no, you keep the speed up. And flat through there, flat. flat through there. Flat. OK, how fast did you get along here? Uh, this is a crucial uh, bit. Well, I think, I don't know, I'm, I'm tired. 87 I once hit yeah, there. Have something. you ever driven anything as cheap as this in uh, your life? Listen, let's, before we say this is cheap, OK, this is, this is £10,000 for that. 9995. Oh, I saw And here we go, and you're across the line. Across the in line. In the 9995 oh, car. And I, oh. Hold on. What, what are you doing here? I don't know. What happens? Uh, uh, uh. Have you lost it? Oh, look at that, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, a handbrake turn! So I've beaten Jamie, I've beaten Jamie Paxson on the tape. Now, these are the times so far. Can we get a camera nice and tight on Jay? Because I've got your lap time, OK? We're we going to get nice and tight. <laughs> Jay, <laughs> K, OK? <laughs> One minute. 48.1 seconds! <laughs> That's 
Thank you.